Baltimore Gotham. We're on season one, episode nine. This one is called Harvey Dent. So guys, Harvey Dent is uh, aka Two Face, which I don't know when we're gonna probably see t when he becomes Two Face in Gotham. If he is gonna, I'm pretty sure he will become Two Face in Gotham. I, I have no doubt about that. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see uh, this Harvey Dent like maybe he's younger. I don't know what to expect from to see him in this uh, this show. To be honest, I really don't. Uh, I don't know how he's gonna act. I don't know if he's gonna be the same way. He as he is from like from the Dark Knight. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how Harvey Dent is in uh, Gotham. And from the uh, previous episode, you know, Gar Gordon was a badass. Bruce, you know, stood up from stood up for himself against those bullies. I still can't believe what that dude said to Bruce, man. That really struck a nerve with me because I'm just like, why would you talk about someone's mom like that that just got you know killed? And he's like, oh yeah, what was it like? Like, oh my God, I Bruce was strong enough to even walk away. And then when he came to his house, he just freaking punched him. He said it, feel, it felt great to do it. I'm just glad that the police force finally, at least some of them stood up for uh, uh, Gordon and, you know, at least had his back. Even though he didn't really need their help at the time, he, they still had his back, or at least some of them did. Barbara did leave uh, Gordon, so I don't know what how, what, how Gordon's going to react to this one. I don't know what he's going to say to uh, Barbara to get her back to work things out. I don't know. So anyway, guys, before this video begins, guys, I want to thank Tom for sponsoring this video through the Patreon page. Make sure you go on the page to get the full reaction. Also, consider supporting the channel as well. Anyway, guys, let's get into this next episode for Gotham. All right. She gone. Whoa. Sweet crib. Must be one rich cop. It's my girlfriend's place. I'm hungry. Dear Jen, I thought I could be strong and brave for you, but I can't. Every place I go, I see Falcone and Zaz. Nervous and needy and screwed up, and I know that's not what you need or want. So I'm going away for a while to get myself together. He needs to call her. This is Gordon. We're in the penthouse. Come on up. Can't stop being nosy. Sounds like your girlfriend's not coming back, huh? Why is she worried about Falcone? None of your business. I speak to the inmate. Do not touch the inmate unless in the service of your job. Do not accept anything from the inmate under any circumstances. Who is this guy anyway? James Ian Hargrove, some genius bomb maker. Took out over a dozen buildings in or around Gotham. What the Put hell? Hands up. She said this is the man who killed your parents. She said she saw his face. Do you recognize him, Bruce? What's her name? Selena Kyle. Do you believe her? Yes, I do. And you want her to live here with us, do you? A common street criminal? She's hardly older than Bruce. She's just a kid. I know this is a lot, but I'm doing everything I can. It's from the Chinese Ming Dynasty. Five, five hundred years old. You can get one just like it for five bucks in Chinatown. Please don't drop it. Ugh. I'm Bruce Wayne. Selena Kyle. What are you doing? Nothing. What's in your hand? What the hell? Ian Hargrove, time to go. Go young. You deserve a second chance. So I have a bet for you. You call heads. Or tails. Lose, you go to jail. Win, we let you go. Bet. That's Harvey. Hold on. I'm telling you that you need to go back to school and get your life straight. Can you promise that? Do you promise that? Yes, sir. Hey, then. Here he got the, he's doing Call. the point. Heads. Walk away, kid. Hey, Harvey. Jim Gordon, GCPD. I hear good things about you, counselor. Harvey Dent, likewise, about you, detective. Or some trick with the coin. What if the kid guesses wrong? You gonna send him to jail? Teenagers, they nearly always call heads. I don't know why. Two-headed coin. Whatever works, right? That's the same, that's the coin. So who is he, Jim? Have. Lovecraft had a long feud with Thomas Wayne over deals and politics. They couldn't have had a more different vision for Gotham. I am willing to bet my career on his involvement in the Wayne murders. That's a big bet. A witness can't connect Lovecraft to the perp. Lovecraft doesn't know that. I'll let it leak out. All right. That we have a secret eyewitness who's going to blow the case wide open and connect Lovecraft to the Wayne killings. Oh, that no, no, lumps out here. I want your feet. Right, jab, jab, right. <laughs> oh, that jab, jab, right. Feet, jab, jab, right. Thank you. Cat's like, what are they doing? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Alfred. What you doing? Alfred's teaching me to fight. 
Why? So I'll be prepared if something bad happens. Yeah, we live in a pretty rough neighborhood. Not here, in Gotham. In Gotham, people don't fight with gloves on. How's your room? Everything good? It'll do. Plenty to eat in the kitchen, and Alfred will be happy to fix you no, something. No, he won't be, will he? Because it's not a bloody hotel. Relax, old man. I'll figure it out. Yeah, you can mind your manners as well, you cheeky little minx. <laughs> nicer, Alfred. She's our guest. Well, I'm terribly sorry, Master Bruce. No about girls, do you, Alfred? There's no more than you. <laughs> and she, mate, is trouble. Yeah, Alfred don't like her. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Liza, Liza. What are you up to? Oh, no. So creepy. <laughs> Lilacs. Holy crap. She knows someone was in there. It's done. I'll take that. Bruh. That's just gonna blow. Oh my god. You hear that? Sounds like chicken. Run. Run, run, run. Hope there's no traps set up. It's CVD, freeze! Don't shoot! You found the nameplate, thank God. Is anyone else here? No, but they'll be back soon. Please, you gotta help me. They're planning something against Falcone. Falcone? Yeah, it's a, it's a big job for Volt. They needed me to build explosives. What's this? Get no. Behind you! Get out! Get out! If you want to go somewhere, we can call you a taxi. You move quiet. So do you. You leaving? Thinking about it. That's your mom, huh? She looks nice. She was. My mom's in show business. That's just to cover. Really, she's a secret agent for the government. Wow. Yeah, but, but then why when she's done, she's coming back to get me. That doesn't make any sense. That's good. I don't think that's true. Yeah. Do you ever kiss a girl? No. Oh, look at him. He you just lit up. Why, why do you ask? Just curious. Any idea how many angry phone calls we've been getting Oh, my this God. Week? Asking you Got a to terrorist kiss. out there. And that's our fault? Tell me, detective. How is this my fault? Well, for starters, you have the mentally ill housed at Blackgate, a prison with no facilities for them. It was exactly where Hargrove was headed when he was broken out. Call his ass out. Yes. Today. Look, look how he yes, walked sir. away real quick. Help yourself out of here, Dick, about your options. This is going to get ugly. <laughs> you're a fool, and you have no idea who or what you're even dealing with. Threaten <laughs> me. I will rip you open. Where did you his face? What? Where did they come from? Yo. You want to get back at him, you hit him where it hurts his money. Ain't that right, Butch? Yep. The root of all evil. We'll take his money. No problem. Not surprised you she's behind this. Is he trying to breathe? As long as he can. Take his breath? I said breathe. How are you doing that? Training. Oh. Like the boxing. I'm developing self-discipline and willpower. Why? So I can be strong. Exactly. I get you, but it won't work. You gotta be mean. You gotta be ruthless. Five minutes on the street, you'll be mince me. And holding your breath won't do a damn thing. 42. 21. Oh, I'm sorry. The number you were looking for is 42. You forgot like to damn. double it for two eyes. No! <laughs> It didn't work. No, it didn't. Damn, look at all that money. Holy moly. They're taking my Falcon's You're money. You're surrounded! There's no way out! If you run, shoot him. Don't shoot! They shoot him! They shoot us! Like the 
final countdown song? Oh my god, in the- oh. Forgive me for the intrusion, but it's urgent that I speak with you. You know who I am. Yeah. And Falcone would kill you if he knew you were here. Perhaps. No, he wouldn't. But what would he do if I told him that you were spying on him for Fish Mooney? Let's call him and find out, shall we? Stop! Your secret is safe with me. You are not gonna tell anyone or you'll die. <laughs> That's simple with him. Messages for Gordon. Freaking, freaking creepy. Nurse director, he's taking all the criminally insane inmates from Blackgate and sending them to Arkham so they can get what? appropriate treatment. Nuts, appropriate. What? The building's 200 years old. Welcome to Gotham. What has happened these past few days is a direct result of Gotham's criminally insane not getting the appropriate treatment and help that we owe them. Renovated Arkham Asylum into a remedial facility for the criminally insane. That damn mayor. Got your letter, and I, um, I know you said you needed some time away from Gotham. I don't have anything without you. I love you. Who is sleeping? Are you serious? Dude, I just cannot believe uh, Barbara is now sleeping with Renee, or Re I think that's her name, Renee Montoya or something like that. Really? You went back to her? And of course, she she took it in a heartbeat. She didn't give a damn how James Gordon feels. She's going to take uh, his woman anyway. It didn't matter to her. How is James Gordon going to feel about this? How is he going to feel about this? He, it's not, It's going to hurt. I think it's gonna hurt. I don't know what he's gonna, how he's gonna react. I really don't. I just can't believe that she left him and it just went back to her. Well, because she is needy, as she said on the letter. She feels like she's not getting what she really wants from uh, James Gore, like his attention or anything like that. I mean, it's fine that she she feels this way, but at the same time, you you went back to him. You knew what you're getting yourself into. She said she couldn't handle anymore. Or whatever, and then she just died. Now she wants to bounce. At first, Gordon was trying to make sure you're in a safe place. You put you somewhere else, but you decided to stay. I don't know. I'm really confused about wh where her feelings are. That's kind of where I'm at with it. First, who played uh, Harvey Dent just did a freaking fantastic job, in my opinion. Like he, he, like the way he was yelling, dude. I was scared. I'm not gonna lie. I was even freaked out about him. Like the way that dude was looking at him, I was freaked out. And of course, he was flipping the coin a lot. He really was. So whenever he becomes a uh, Two-Face, dude, he's going to, I know this person is going to play that part really freaking well. I just definitely cannot wait till he does become a uh, Two-Face. I have no idea when that's going to happen. So yeah, I definitely cannot wait to see his next episode, guys. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure you guys go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction. Also consider supporting the channel as well. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next Gotham.